Wow, it is hot today. Okay, I can't even like open my eyes very much because it's so bright out and so hot. But uh, I thought I might come out here. I have Achilles here still. Uh, he likes the heat. I know. I know he does. But I thought I might discuss a little bit a uh, new thing about him. Well, uh, something different. I, I haven't talked about before. About Ed Edmund Husserl. Uh, he wrote a couple. He wrote a two-volume. Uh, book called Logical In Investigations, and um, <clears throat> this is one of the biggest things he was, he, he ever wrote, and it, it it created a lot of the ba the first main basic ideas of phenomenology. I mean, but but what really created the whole entire thing of what's understood as transcendental phenomenology uh, that came with you know his ideas. The, the book called the the book is called Ideas One and Ideas Two by Husserl, and uh, as well as his uh, Cartesian med Meditations and uh, the Crisis of the Euro Crisis of the European Sciences and things like that. That all brought together a first, very first understanding of phenomenology. You know, the the, the of basic transcendental phenomenology. But uh, <clears throat> in all of this, I'm going to go into you know because I'm very in interested in this, but. I want to I want to discuss right now. I want to discuss the uh, what is called the, the critique of psychologism by Husserl, uh, which he discussed in his first in in the logical investigations. Um, <clears throat> basically, what's being discussed here um, when 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 he's when he's referring to psychologism psychologism at all is he's he's discussing logical logic technology normative and theoretical disciplines, you know. He's discussing logic as a normative discipline. He's uh, discussing, you know, all, he's, he's discussing all of the things that philosophers and scientists do, uh, which all of those things are normative, you know. And the whole question here is, what is, what is this grounded in? What the normative logic the, 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 the normative logical technological disciplines that we all deal with and you know connect with every day what is that grounded in now the common a common argument in Husserl's time well a, a common argument you know in any 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 time you know a common argument is something some, someone might naturally you know think this um, one would think that things like logic uh, and theoretical and normative disciplines are all grounded in psychology. Um, yes, psychology, uh, science of the brain, the mind, um, thinking, judging, um, all, everything that that goes in the mind. You know, the the, the science of how such things are studied. Um, this is what it is thought. This is what it is what it is thought to be as the ba as the basis of everything of logic of all normative disciplines this you know the the whole field the whole philosophical and scientific field of psychologism is the philosophical belief that all of these normative things are grounded in psychology um, this is exactly what Husserl is uh, is attacking um, because mostly what he's what he's attacking is he's, he's attacking this grounding in psychology and uh, the line of thinking here the <clears throat> what the psychologists what the people the psychologism thinkers are you know are thinking is that they're thinking well logic it involves syllogisms uh, it involves um, it involves all these different kinds kinds of things that go into thinking, you know, it, you know, psychology is grounded in all of that, everything mental, you know, is grounded in, you know, is grounded in psychology, you know, this is the line of thinking, you know, let me see, let me see where the, whoops, I dropped, dropped this. Let me read it for you. We ask for just 
Who asked for justification in such views? The most plausible line of argument is often seems to cut off uh, all further dispute of uh, all, all further dispute ab, ab initio. However, one may define logic as a, as, as a technology, as a technology of thinking, judging, inferring, knowing, proving of the courses followed by understanding in the pursuit of truth, in the evaluation of the grounds of proof, etc. We find invariable, invariably that mental activities or pro products are the objects of practical regulation, and just as, in general, the artificial working over, over a material presupposes the knowledge of its properties. So this will be the case here, too, where we are especially concerned with psychological material. So, you can see where all this is coming from, like, you know, talking about thinking, proving everything, you know, thinking and judging, um, understanding, all of this is based in common methods of psychology. You know, everything is grounded in that. Right? Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that what you would think? Um, Searle has a different idea, a different idea of... You know what all this, all the normative things of logic and all that stuff is grounded in. I mean, you you might think that this is that you know you might think that it's grounded in basic psychology, but it's not. And I I'm gonna have to agree with this, but I'm gonna come back in a different video and discuss this further.